Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to import Google Calendar events to Airtable. So this is very simple, guys. All you have to do is go to the extensions here and make sure to add a new extension. New extension is going to be called Data Fetcher. So add it right here. I already have it right here, as you can see. Um, but if I go here to Data Fetcher again, I can go here and click Add, Add Extension. And once I click add, I will need to continue with Google. So I need to continue with Google here. I'll need to type in my email. And uh, as you can see, once I'm here, I'm in. As you can see, I can create my first request right here. And what I can do is I can go to Google Calendar. So right here. And uh, yeah, we can basically go here and enter that. Now we can click Save. And we will need to wait just a little bit, right? New Google Calendar connection. Yeah, and then you can go and select your email uh, from the calendar that you want to uh, basically go with. Con click continue. And then as you can see, this is the connection, save and continue. Here, you can put the calendar name, right? Um, start date, right? Whether it's from, you know, January, let's say first, December, 2022 to, you know, let's say, um, yeah, let's say December, December 2023, right here. And then what we can do is we, we actually haven't set the start date. So it will be January. Yeah, this will be the start date. So and then we have output table view, table one calendar, and then we can go save and run. Um, yeah, we can hide this, click continue. And this will determine all the fields as you can see, and then we can click save and run. And uh, yeah, what this will do is this will basically create files and connect or import Google Calendar events uh, into the to Airtable, right? This is how it looks like, right? As you can see, um, this is how it looks like. You can exit out of it, and then this is basically your calendar, and you can see everything right here. It's pretty much easy. Uh, if you have any questions. Comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.